Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again, and this is going to be Get Your Irish On and St. Patrick's Day collab with some lovely people from Geeks and Beauties. Everybody who is involved will be linked down below. I am going to be doing a simple little uh, St. Patrick's Day manicure for you guys. Um, I have painted two of my fingers in uh, with white. This is BYS's French white. And on the other two fingers I have used two coats of Ultra 3 Frog Prints. Um, I also have uh, a little piece of, it's actually a stamping scraper, which I'm going to use like a little palette type thing. I have some black nail polish. I have some holographic silver nail polish. I have some green glitter. This is Luck of the Irish from Ultra 3. And I have these little gold circular things. So I will uh, show you what we're going to do. First up on the two white nails, we're going to do some shamrocks. So these are like really easy to do. I'm just going to put some of the green polish on my stampy thing. Then I'm going to use a dotting tool. I have this little white dotting tool. I'm going to use the smaller end of it. It has all of these dotting tools have two different ends with two different sizes. So I'm using the slightly smaller side on this one. And we're just going to get dab the bra, uh, the dotting tool in the polish. So what you do is put two dots right next to each other like that. And then kind of draw a, a third one. So you kind of get like a love heart, which is if you're trying to do easy love hearts, that is a way to do it. So we move over a bit, do two dots together and then one joining it together. And then we do that again. Two dots, one joining them together. And then using your dotting tool where the gap is between them, just go zoop for the little stem. And you have a really basic shamrock type design. I'm going to do another one on this finger. So dot, dot, dot. couple of shamrocks on that now and I'm going to repeat the same process on my pointer finger. And there you go. You can also do, instead of doing like the three together, you could just do, just do on the side of this one, you could just do three dots and then do a little swishy thing for a teeny tiny little one. You can make them more joined together if you want. It doesn't really matter. It's how you want to do it. This is generally how I do shamrocks when I do them. So that is what we're doing on that finger. On this finger here, we are just going to put on some of this green glitter over the top of the nail polish, nothing, nothing too fancy schmancy here. This is just an easy manicure, not too difficult. Just add a bit of glitter and bling. And if you wanted to, you could put some over your white fingers if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do now is the last finger. So I'm going to put some black polish out on 
the stampy mat thing. And then using the dotting tool, use it like a paintbrush. And we're going to draw something that looks like a pot. So I'm going to do sort of a line of dots really close together to do the top of the pot. And then draw the bottom of the pot and fill it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. It is just the more of a suggestion of a pot shape more than anything else. And then we are going to take the holographic polish. Now if you wanted to, you could draw a rainbow um, using different coloured polishes. But I thought instead of doing that, I would just use a holographic polish. So I'm going to use the same basic technique. I'm going to just use the dotting tool to draw the basic idea of a rainbow shape coming up out of our pot. Just like that. Nothing too fancy. And then I'm going to take a little bit of white polish just for a little bit of detail. This time I'm going to take an orange wood stick. You could use a toothpick, anything else that's sh pointy. And I'm just going to do a line across the top of the pot and then one just down the curve of the pot. Just for a bit of detail. You don't have to do that, you can leave your pot however you want to leave your pot. Then, oops, helps if you put lids back on that nail polish. And then we are going to take our little gold dot things. We're going to take a little bit of top coat. Um, I am using out the door today. Take either your dotting tool or your toothpick. Put a little bit of top coat along the top of the pot at the end of your rainbow. Then pick up the little gold You could use um, tiny gold balls instead. You don't have to use these things. These are kind of a bit on the larger side, but they look a bit like coins. I've kind of overlapped mine a little bit. And then I'm going to put a little bit more top coat above. couple more so it looks like it's a bit more stacked up with gold. Now on the end of, I've actually got two of these, on the end of it all I've done, makes it easy to pick stuff up, is it's a little piece of, it's like blue tack but it's white so I guess it's white tack. Um, I just put a bit of that on and it helps you pick stuff up, it just makes it easier. And that is the basic manicure. You can add more detail, add less detail. You could do, you could take your green. Mine's not really set up, but you could take the green and just add a few extra dots. And if you wanted to fill in the background a little bit more. You 
could add glitter, but give it a little while to dry and then add some top coat and you have a super simple but fun St. Patrick's Day manicure. So that's it for this video guys, everybody else who is doing this collab will be linked down below as usual. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below, click the bell if you want notifications, leave me a thumbs up if you like nail art tutorials, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!